security is everybody's business. We must come together and at the same time encourage these officers and also pick interest in what they are doing so that it will serve as encouragement, as supervision, and as concern. Once you have the situation mitigated further than this, I think you have a very peaceful environment to carry on with your programs in the state. Your Excellency, I have told of your contributions to the state in terms of crime prevention and control, and uh, I must say kudos to your government You are doing well. The police are also doing well. Uh, thank you very much for all your assistance and uh, we will continue to uh, assist the, the, the command with what we have, uh, especially uh, the police trust fund, which uh, your government is also contributory. Uh, whatever we can get to go and come and look at the issue of barrack and office accommodation, also look at that. The police is saying this is your problem. I want to solve it. I want to fix your barracks. I want to fix your vehicles. I want to fix your security. Only him can do this because it has never happened before. We celebrate you because when you bring academics into power, you begin to see class, you begin to see decency. And that's what you have done. You have shown that your education truly, truly is being put to use. It takes a man who has this level of exposure and dignity and integrity to come before a governor and come before a people and a state and rather offer instead of asking. It's never happened before. I will beg this as a special note to Mr. President that the Inspector General of Police that we have indeed has made the police proud. God will bless you. God will continue to show you and shine you and make you bigger beyond the IG. Whatever is available, God will give to you.